one of my um, courses, we the first thing that we um, annotate is the chapter called The F Word by Firuza Duma from her book, Funny and Farsi. I have a lot of Iranian students as well. Um, but it's all about how her name Firuza was the F word and how no one could say it right. And all these things, she changed her name. Like a lot of my students will say, you know, my name is this in their first language, but just call me Jane. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not calling you Jane. We're going to learn to pronounce your name correctly. And we're all going to call each other by, you know, unless you really want, you don't change it for me. Right. Um, so this reading is all about how Firuza changed her name to Julie and then she got married and then her name was Julie Dumas and then it was like nothing, it not, didn't match her, right? And then she tried to go back, but it was this knot of her professional life and then her family called her one name and then her, she had kids and was trying to figure this all out. Um, so this, this space for students to engage with like, what do you think about how she changed her name? And then also reflect on, oh, should I change my name? Or did someone in a previous class change my name for me? Did someone tell me your name's too hard? So let's just shorten it, which is terrifying that this is happening, but it does happen to, to my students sometimes. Um, so it provided that kind of safe space for students to engage with a topic that's highly interesting names, right? And a chance to introduce themselves in this interactive way and learn how to use hypothesis or how to use the collaborative annotation tool because it's, it's a whole um, cognitive overload if you're learning the technology tool and you're learning a really hard, or you're you know annotating a, a text that's like pretty, a lot of content right off and you're learning new, uh, for my students, new grammar and vocabulary and um, sentence structure, right? So trying to, to step into it so that we just do it in a, in a fun way, in a topic that makes sense, get through the tech issues. And then as we move throughout the semester, then we can focus on topics and um, readings and charts and graphs and things that are, are deeper knowledge or that could be more advanced for them, but we're no longer worried about the technology of how to use that, right? Um, and then the last thing I would say about just all of that is that it's a lot, a lot of um, just the, the tools are sometimes presented as things for students to consume pa uh, passively, like you're just going to watch this, or you're going to listen to this lecture, or you're going to read this and then take a quiz, but it's just like all passive, right? And so what I love about collaborative annotation is that they're actively involved and the discussion takes them where they want to go.